Because of its deep color and crown, eggplants are often referred to as the king of vegetables. Today, we're going to show you a couple of ways to serve this royal veggie. Roberta Lombardi, the owner of The Elegant Occasion, is back on the show. It's always nice to have you Hi, here. Hi, thank you. You always have such fun ideas, too. Well, you know, eggplant's one of my favorite vegetables. I think this summer we've had it almost every night of the week so far with different dishes. It's so versatile, and there's nothing like a summer eggplant. What's interesting is that I didn't realize there were different varieties of eggplant. There are different varieties. This particular one is called an Italian eggplant, and this is basically the kind you would get in your garden uh, at the farm stands. Okay. Then you have your black beauties, which is typically what you'll find in the grocery store all year long. Okay. This is called a graffiti eggplant. And it, it looks confused. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which way to go? <laughs> right. Or a zebra eggplant. And they're delicious. They're baby. They're tiny. And you'll find these a lot in gardens in the summer okay. and at the farm stands. And then this last one is a white beauty. And it's a uh, counterpart to the Italian eggplant. They're all very similar in taste. The, the difference in the white eggplant is that the skin is a little thicker. Okay. So when I prepare this, I like to bread it and fry it because it, it, it could be a little tough if you're just roasting it as we're doing it today. Okay. okay. And the top of that, the crown. The crown is called a calyx. Oh, see, yeah. you learn something new every day. That's terrific. <laughs> When you're looking for eggplants, whether it's in the grocery store or at the farm stand, you want to make sure that your eggplant has a very smooth skin and that the calyx is green okay. and that they feel firm. If you're seeing a lot of brown spotting on it or they feel soft and squishy or the calyx is, is starting to look more brown than green, you know that it's not a fresh eggplant and chances are when you cut into it and you've cooked it and you're ready to eat it, it's going to be bitter. Okay. Good okay. to know. Great <laughs> tips. And what are you making here today? Okay. Today I'm making two great appetizers, main courses, a great lunch. I'm making a roasted eggplant and fresh tomato napoleon. Ooh. And I'm making an eggplant rollatini with a lemon ricotta basil filling. Are these your original recipes for your own concoctions? They I are, love that. just from all the, the beautiful vegetables in our garden, and my husband stops at the farm stand almost every night of the week. So we always just have so many vegetables, and it's just trying to find a new way to do something with them. And this is just so easy and so beautiful. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so for the first one, the roasted eggplant Napoleon, what I do is I take, again, tomatoes, wonderful at this time of year and I've just sliced them up and we're going to put them on a parchment lined baking sheet okay and we're going to drizzle them with a little olive oil and you want to be kind of generous with the olive oil and some garlic salt now I set this up and I would let this sit on my counter for a few hours Can because it's going to draw bit? the moisture okay. out which will then allow it to caramelize in the oven and bring out all those wonderful flavors. Then I've got my eggplant, cut off the bottom, and I'm just going to cut them into these little discs, about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want them to be too thick, or they would be the skin would then become chewy in the process. Okay. So, again, we're going to do the same as we did with the tomato. And do you have the oven preheated to some? I have the oven on at 375 degrees. Really generous on the eggplant with the olive oil because it's like a sponge and it will soak it right up. Okay. Again, I'm going to hit it with a little more garlic salt. And again, I'm going to let it sit. So, and I, I do these all in one pan because it's, it's not going to hurt it to all roast together. Okay. Now, this is also going to apply for our regat stuffed rollatini. So, so it's the, the same okay. thing. It's the same method. So I would put these into the oven and I would roast them for about a half an hour. This is going to be oh, what they look done. like when they come out, right? <laughs> yes. Beautiful, golden. Uh, the tomatoes, you can notice, they've caramelized on the edges, so they'll get a little brown. And it almost makes them sweeter. Oh, okay. so sweet, so delicious. They almost taste like you've put sugar on them. Really? Absolutely wonderful. All right. So now I want to show you, for the Napoleon, I take a piece of eggplant, put it right on the plate, and I've got my fresh mozzarella. You can't go wrong when there's fresh can't go mozzarella. Wrong wrong with fresh mozzarella. <laughs> and I've sliced that, and now I'm going to take a tomato, put it right on top of the eggplant. So we're just layering all the vegetables. Another piece of eggplant. We're making a little sandwich here. Exactly. <laughs> a little piece of mozzarella again. 
Oh, that's just delightful. And another piece of eggplant, and then a beautiful, fresh basil leaf. Drizzle it with a little olive oil. Look how beautiful wow, that, that is. It's delicious. It's light. It's packed with different flavors. It's um, it's rich. It's creamy. And it's it healthy, goes not with to anything. Mention. And it is very healthy. But you know, it goes by itself. If you're a vegetarian, certainly very hearty. Mm -hmm. uh, also pairs wonderful with meat, chicken, pork, anything you want. Okay. And then the last one is we have another piece of eggplant here, and I have my ricotta. Okay. This is whole milk ricotta. Could you just pass me that lemon? Certainly. Thank you. You're gonna zest it. We're gonna zest this lemon. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd stop in and see That's what you guys right, are doing. Of course. Just time to eat. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so really, you want to zest, you want to take three quarters of a cup of ricotta and zest a complete, oop. So you're making, <laughs> you're making, you're making the, the okay. rollatini now? Yes, I'm making the rollatini. And now you want to take a, just a dollop. You don't want a full spoon because it would be hard to roll and it would break open. Just place it in the center of the eggplant, okay. take a little bit of chopped fresh basil, lay it directly on the ricotta, roll it from one end towards the middle, then bring it up again. Is that going to stay together? The bottom? Yes, Roberta. because then you're going to invert. <laughs> ah, um, that's the secret. But can you put a toothpick in if you want? Or you not? could, you okay. could, but you really don't need to. As you can see, they do oh, stay. They do. they do stay. And again, we're going to just sprinkle it with a little parsley and add a little more. Just this is perfect for summertime, it. isn't it? Yes. Now, can you put sauce with this or not? You could easily put a nice little drizzle of marinara sauce over the top. You could also add to the ricotta anything that's your favorite, maybe a little spinach if you want it inside of it. Oh, this looks Ooh, yummy, doesn't yeah. it? All right. And there you have it. And you can Try Terrific. It. Thank you, Roberta. Oh, thank you. I, I came in to try this. You <laughs> are <laughs> to try this. For more information on Roberta, check out her website, theelegantoccasion.com, and uh, I'll try this, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stick okay. around. There's, there's more of Connecticut stock coming up. We have mysterious rocks, arrowheads, and other American Indian artifacts. So stay with us.